Good morning student this is your science class and uh, the topic which we are going to study is the grassland habitat from the previous chapter environment and feeding relationship Before moving on to the topic we should revise the basic term environment it consists of all the living and non living things present in the environment everything around the organism is called environment habitat the place where an animal lives or reproduce is called habitat ecosystem it is a type of system which is formed by the interaction of living and non living things now we will see what are the components of ecosystem there are two component the first one is the biotic component which are the living components producers consumers and decomposers decompos- are fall in this category then comes the abiotic components which are the non living components water sunlight oxygen and carbon dioxide is the are the present in the abiotic components now what makes an habitat a grassland we will discuss the saline features grassland is partly grassy windy and dry area it receive medium amount of rainfall 500 to 900 mm so that it is a very fertile land biotic components first of all we will discuss the producers the producers mainly here are the grasses of these two different species cynodon and desmodium species consumers consumers mainly here are of three types first of all we will discuss the primary consumers primary consumers are the herbivores which feed directly on the grasses cows buffaloes sheep and goats are the grazing animals or the herbivores few species of insects are also present secondary consumers secondary consumers are the carnivores or the fresh eating animals which feed on the primary consumers frogs snakes lizard and foxes are the secondary consumers tertiary consumers birds are the tertiary consumers which feed on the secondary consumers hawks eagles and owls are the tertiary consumers decomposers decomposers mainly here are the microorganism which are bacteria and fungi they feed on dead organic matter which is the dead bodies of organisms like plants and animals and in return they can uh, and they in return they decompose the complex organic matter into simpler substances and these nutrients are released in the environment and again reused by the producers such as plants this picture is an illustration of different types of producers which are the mainly grasses and the consumers herbivores carnivores and birds and two type of decomposers which are present in grassland ecosystem fungi and bacteria abiotic components are mostly inorganic or organic com- compounds which are present in the soil in the dissolved form or in the air mainly the essential elements which are present in the environment are carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen phosphorus and sulfur which are present in the dissolved form in water or they are present in the atmosphere so this picture is a clear illustration of the interdependency of living organism on the non living organisms this is the interaction between living and non living organism in grassland habitat in this picture you can see that producers which are the plants they will trap the sunlight directly and they will produce the food by using the process of photosynthesis and these plants are eaten by grass eating or the herbivores and these plants are uh, these plant eating animals are eaten by carnivores the dead or uh, the dead bodies of plants and these consumers are decomposed by fungi and bacteria and the nutrients which are released during the process of decomposition are again utilized by the producers and the cycle continues this is all from the lecture